Okay folks, two mass animal die-offs in the United States, one with birds in Kentucky and one with fish in Florida. We also have the continuing earthquake swarm going on in the Virgin Islands. Looking across to the other part of the world, pretty bad cold wave going on in India and they actually just found bird flu there as well. They've had to cull uh, thousands of birds. There is a ship that has just gone missing in the uh, northern part of Indonesia, uh, just north of the Philippines. Mount Lokan erupted this morning. And we're also having a, a lot of rainfall, flash flooding pretty much all over Malaysia, uh, southern, uh, excuse me, northern Indonesia. We also have tropical storms to worry about, and there's actually some flash flooding in southern Australia as well. Folks, NOAA has revised some of their predictions. Uh, first off, they say we now have a chance for X flares. Uh, we'll actually come back to this in a moment. What we're really interested in here, folks, is they now recognize that more than one coronal mass ejection is coming at the Earth. However, they're still not quite on the correct page, as they say both of these are from filament eruptions. Now, as we look here as they're, uh, at their CME evolution animal spiral, you can see both ejections coming off the sun, but if you look in that middle part right there, you can see they're both on the top. Uh, that's the northern part. They both came off the northern part of the sun. They're just talking about these two filament eruptions uh, that came off there and completely ignoring what happened after the second filament eruption uh, occurred and that is four to five coronal mass ejections uh, in conjunction with these M flares coming out of this region. Now this one and one on the other side of the sun in the southern region uh, are both labeled beta gamma and these are what could put off X flares. Taking a look at the induction magnetometer we saw something interesting happen here folks. Now as we watched this resonance build we thought hey are we are we building to an earthquake here? This is some strong little shaking, some resonance the earth has. Well there was no earthquake but that was uh, one of the M flare events that we had now Obviously, this doesn't happen every time there's an M-flare event, and they probably weren't connected. But if they were, uh, it might have something to do with these magnetic portals, and here's why. Now, these magnetic portals, these would be the black and white dotted lines you see connecting everything to the sun here. Uh, everything has them. Uh, everything is connected magnetically. And it's not just the Earth. It's, you know, Mercury, Venus. And they're not just connected in one point, either. Uh, these little red dots that you're going to see here are all the points that the Earth is connected to the Sun. Now these don't stay constant. You know, the Sun is turning and the Earth is orbiting. There are connections, uh, you know, reconnections and disconnections. And think about what would occur, you know, magnetically when that happens. You know, much of the resonance uh, and the things that we're looking for in terms of space weather are magnetically connected. So of course you might see some resonance on the induction magnetometer. And on the Sun, everything from coronal holes, solar active regions, magnetic filaments to these loops you see right here, they're all suspended by magnetism so a disturbance in one of the magnetic uh, portals could uh, produce some instability on the Sun as well um, last night folks we had one coronal mass ejection come out of that solar active region you see turning a limb there just to the left of that dark coronal hole which is now uh, squarely pointed at Earth we have some magnetic filaments becoming unstable in the northern part of the Sun and it's a lot to look out for folks be safe